여기 야. 헤이 hey, Can I have a grande hot latte with oat milk and a packet of honey please? And a grande London fog And a grande London fog Mr. Fancy Boy over there Hello and welcome back to the Build With Vlog Today we're in beautiful Pennsylvania West of Philadelphia And we are visiting our friends at Berg Construction We've worked with Berg for maybe like a year and a half now It's been a little while I haven't been out here since end of last year so i'm excited to see what the heck they're up to these days we're starting at uh some kind of gardens project this morning and then we're gonna meander up by their office and then end in the town of bethlehem which is where the baby jesus was born so it should be a really really solid day berg i'm a big fan of they're incredibly diverse they have four completely separate divisions they do paving they do commercial they do residential and they do landfill work and, and a little bit of everything in between so it's a super unique business every job is completely different so it's a lot of fun visiting them and i'm sure we'll see some of that variety today so buckle up here we go berg construction berg construction Here we go. Which I'm sure is in the way of somebody. be a good video for all the people that say we put too much cat on the internet. It's a Komatsu. Berg loves their Komatsu. So that was job set number one, some renovation type project at some garden spice. I think we can say that's where we are, but maybe we can. Now, off to job site number two, about 15 minutes away. What are we gonna be looking at? Don't have a clue, I just have a pen. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna see what it is. Stay tuned. What is going on here? Okay, everybody, welcome to site number two. There was a sign that explained what's happening here in the front there, but we didn't stop to read it. So, ooh, that's a 
a pretty looking machine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. As you can tell, Mr. Ben Schwanberg has joined us. Drove up this morning from Virginia. So that's the three amigos, me, Mr. Schwanberg, and the cameraman, Matt. I'm gonna go read the sign in front of the job so that I can educate everybody on what this job actually is because I don't have a clue what it is. I mean they're moving dirt, but I don't know what they're what it's for. So give me give me a moment here. Okay. So what they were just doing is they have a beautiful Komatsu PC490 excavating material they're putting it into on-road trucks they're driving it across this little highway here to the other side of the road where they're stockpiling it because there's a landfill right there and <clears throat> landfills in pennsylvania other places it it varies depending on the state county there's all sorts of different changes to landfills but here they put the trash down and then they have to place what's called daily cover which is six inches of soil over the trash to keep animals from digging through it, families of raccoons, or, oh, look at that, a cow-shaped no, colored silo. Oh yeah. Um, oh my, look at all of them. They match my skid steer. I'm getting distracted. So daily cover, it prevents animals from digging through the trash, and probably more importantly, it keeps the odor down from landfills. Um, and just keeps everything nice and tidy, no trash blowing around or anything like that. So landfills need daily cover. They typically have to import it. They bought that piece of land just across the highway to excavate the material out. Berg is stockpiling it. Then it'll all be graded and will be used for drainage long-term. Nice little job. I think they said they have a few hundred thousand yards of material to ship across the street. Not a very long haul, but you have to use on-road trucks because you're driving just a little bit on road, so you can't use anything bigger than just your typical triaxle on that job. Now, we're gonna head to job site number three. What is it? Again, I don't have a clue. I'm super informed today. Okay, so today we went to that garden project, we went to that landfill project, and we just went to a commercial project. Now for the most important visit of the, oh, this track out is so bad. I drove into some mud, I should know. Now for the most important visit of the day, which is a lunch. So we're gonna go to the Berg office, stop by, see Mr. Ford Berg himself, the man behind it all, who doesn't like any kind of publicity whatsoever but we make him do it anyway. And we're gonna go have some lunch. After that, drive out to Bethlehem, go see one more project, I believe. What is it? Oh, track out. That just doesn't sound good. One more project, what is it you ask? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. That's the theme of today. We'll find out when we get there. I should charge him for moving material because I just moved a ton of material with my tire. I've been thinking about making clickbaiting titles and this one's going to be Aaron tries to set Matt up with Amish girl. 
We can make it happen. <laughs> We're having lunch in the middle of Amish country, so. Like, I remember I used to just <laughs> with it as a labor. <laughs> I really wanted you to hit the tree. <laughs> I would have set that thing straight into that fast that. Oh, we're making a vlog, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I'm really good at this. Yeah. Well, we're making a vlog today and I'm not good at vlogging. Matt's still getting used to it. We're still trying to figure out what the hell to do here. So to, I guess, wrap today up. To summarize today, as I said this morning, we were with Berg Construction. They're out of Morgantown, Pennsylvania. They do a little bit of everything. So we went to Bongwood Gardens this morning. They're doing a huge job helping uh, them expand the gardens there. We went to a landfill project. We went to a commercial job. This is what we're just leaving right now in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania is a multifamily residential project. They do primarily just site work. So we saw site work today. That's what we did. Now we need to go shoot a video for Build It Leaders. Go figure. So as a nice backdrop, we we're gonna go drive to see and find Mushlitz's 390 and use that as a video backdrop. So that's mostly it for today. Slow and steady. So we will see you guys when we see you guys. Or maybe Matt will throw in some footage of the 390 when we get there too. Who knows? Matt might surprise you. We'll see about that. We'll see about that.